Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you how to load the musical files into list view using the card view and how to play the same. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all, you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then you can provide the name of your application. I'm just giving the name of my application is load media SD card dem. Then you can choose the language. I'm just choosing the language that is Kotlin. Then you can click on finish. Let me clear what I want to do over here. I want to load all the musical files that is related to MP3 or MP4 files that is available in my SD card or memory card that I want to load into list view. And I want to display using the card view. And whenever user click on the play button, I want to play that particular files. So first of all, my task is I should have the mp3 files in my emulator. So this is my device file explorer. In device file explorer, SD card is there. Here you can upload your mp3 files here in MNT SD card. See, I have these are the mp3 files available in my emulator. That is Ajna, Divse, Prabhu, Amar Akbar, Anthony, Bolya, Sri Hari, Dundala, Dev, right like that. I have few mp3 files available in my emulator you can upload your mp3 here in sd card mnt sd card and you can upload the mp3 files over here once your mp3 file is available in your emulator then i want to load that particular files into my list view so i'm just moving to activity main.xml here you can just click on show layout decoration and here from design view you can just remove your text view and here i want to add the list view so you can just search for the list view over here and you can simply drag and drop you can move over here the list view then you can click on infer constraint and then you can provide the name of your list view i'm just giving the name of my list view is list view once it is done now it's a time to define the layout because i want to display every file into this uh, list view that i want to display as a layout so I'm just moving to project, resource, layout, and you can just right click over here in layout, new layout resource file. What kind of layout you want? I want uh, in layout, I want the details of uh, songs, uh, title, author, and I want to add the play button. So I'm just giving the name of my layout is my layout. Then you can click on OK. Now over here. You can move to your design part here uh, instead of constraint layout i want the card view first so i'm just moving to palette here you can search for the card view you can add to your uh, project so uh, would you like to add this now yes i want to add it once you add it successfully once your configuration is done fine now instead of this constraint layout make your root layout as a card view once your card view is done now a uh, few properties of the card view is required over here to make uh, our card look and feel very nice. So you can add over here that is corner radius. I'm just giving the corner radius that is 25 dB. Then you can add the uh, <coughs> compact padding. I'm just using the card use compact padding. That is true. Then you can uh, give the background color of your card. I'm just giving the card background color that is has f00 now instead of this uh, you can uh, choose the color from the palette i'm just giving the light color over here slight light let me take uh, based on the gray shade right now once your card is ready now uh, we need to write the content inside the card right so i'm just moving over here inside the card view and i want a linear layout over here so I'm just taking here linear layout and that orientation is horizontal. Here in orientation horizontal, I want to add one more linear layout that is related to vertical. So I'm just taking here linear layout orientation vertical. So this is the layout uh, inside horizontal. I'm putting the vertical linear layout here in linear vertical. You can add one more control uh, two controls related to text view so i'm just moving to text here you can add the text view one you can add the text view two 
once your tax u1 and tax u2 is added to your linear vertical now it's a time to add the button inside my linear horizontal right so here in linear vertical you can set the weight so i'm just setting the weight is layout weight is equal to 1 now once you define the layout weight inside your linear vertical now um, you can add the button inside your horizontal so i'm just taking a one button over here you can move drag and drop it will be added in linear vertical but what we need to do you can just simply cut this button and you can add to your linear horizontal now here in linear horizontal we need to set the layout weight i'm just setting the layout weight is zero once you define the layout weight zero width definitely wrap content height that will be also wrap content once it is done now you can set your card height that is wrap content so what happens see my one card is created with two text view and one button here you can define the height of your card also so i'm just defining the height of my card is for example 60 dp so it will be slightly increased right once your card is ready see you can see your card look and feel over here you can add the text view size also this is my text view number one and this is my text view number two let me give here this is text view one is related to song title and this text view is related to song author if it is available right here you can set the text size for example 18 sp and here you can set the text size that is for example 20 sp now once it is done you can set the background to your button also so what i am doing see here in project you can move to your drawable file and here in drawable you can just right click new and you can add the drawable resource file i am just giving the drawable resource file name is but back that is related to button background you can move to your design of this button and now here you can add the uh, item and shape so i'm just adding the item over here inside the item you can add the shape inside the shape you can add the gradient so i am doing the uh, adding the gradients over here inside the gradient you can just add android start color i'm just adding the start color is for example has uh, 00 app it will be blue right then you can add here in gra gradient you can add the and color also so i'm just adding the and color is also same 00 app now here after gradient you can define the corner radius also so i'm just giving the corner radius for example is equal to 25 dp once your uh, color that is blue color is set now you can uh, click over here on the color and you can choose an, uh, another color if you want to choose i'm just uh, setting the color over here that is blue once your button background is set now you can set your background to your button here in layout see uh, this is my name of my button i'm just giving the title over here that is play this button is related to play now you can set the background over here it is from at the red drawable but back now you can see here blue uh, button is available but my font color is black so let me set white color over here you can set the text color has fff it will be white now you can set the text style I'm just giving the text style that is bold then you can increase the size also if it is required for example 20 SP now you can see my play button is visible over here right see song title author and play button is there once your layout is ready now we need a class to uh, make the details of the song so I am just moving to project here you can uh, right click on your package new and you can add the kotlin file i'm just giving the name of my kotlin file is song info 
then you can choose the file you can create the file now you can create the class song info over here in song info what i actually need i need the title of the song that is again a type string is equal to you can assign the null value now you can add the author name i'm just adding the author colon string question mark is equal to again a null then you can add the variable that is related to song url right so i'm just adding the song url again you can define the type that uh, data type that is string question mark equal to null now here you can just uh, press alter insert and you can generate the secondary constructor i want to generate the constructor based on the title author and song url so once your constructor is generated now we will use this song info class inside our main activity dot kotlin file so here in main activity dot kotlin let me define a one class or uh, let me move to main uh, activity dot kotlin now here you can define variable list songs is equal to array list of here you can uh, pass your song info class that we just created right now here you can call the constructor then I want the adapter class over here but before adding the adapter you all knows that to play any media we need a variable that is related to mp media player so i'm just taking a variable that is mp colon media player is equal to null now you can add the adapter class over here but before adding the adapter class we want to read the media file from the external storage and whenever you want to read the media file from the external storage you need to get the permission from the user so i'm just adding the permission over here i'm checking for the permission if activity compact dot check self permission here you can check the context that is this here in permission you can just add manifest dot permission dot if the permission that is related to read external storage if this permission is not granted it means you can just check package manager dot permission granted if this permission is not granted then request for the permission so i'm just adding the permission over here activity compact dot request permission in current context you can add the array of manifest dot permission dot read external storage and then here you can just pass the request code if it is already granted then what you want to do then i want to just load the song it means i want to call the function that is load song you can create the function over here but if it is not granted then we will request for the permission if user click on allow then what you want to do simply you can override one method over here that is on request permission result if request code equal equal 111 and grant results of zero equal equal package manager dot permission granted it means that if user has granted the permission then you can call the function that is load songs right so uh, this is related to checking the permission now you can press control y to remove this to do line and one more thing is you need to add that particular permission into manifest file so in manifest.xml you can add permission over here uses permission read external storage you can <clears throat> now move to your main activity dot kotlin now it's time to uh, move ahead about the load songs what we want to do in load songs so uh, basically we need an adapter class to do all these things so i'm just doing what see i'm just declaring one variable that is adapter of my song adapter this is not an inbuilt class i need to create this class right so i'm just writing here my song adapter question mark is equal to null you can create the class inside your kotlin file inside your main activity as a inner class so i'm just uh, creating one class that is my song adapter as a inner class here in this class we will create the class which is extending from base adapter so i'm just simply i'm just uh, calling the 
base adapter uh, super class over here whenever you write like this you need to implement the four methods of the base adapter and that methods are get view get item get item id and get count now not only this you need to call the super class constructor of the base adapter also so what i am doing over here i am just declaring one variable over here that is variable my list song is equal to again i am declaring one very uh, type of array list that is of again a song info and then you can call the constructor now i want to create the constructor over here based on this argument so you can just press alter insert and you can generate the secondary constructor based on this argument so what happened whenever user pass this list song it will be initialized with my list song variable now here in get item you can simply return my list song of here in get item uh, you can simply pass your position that is p0 here in a long function you can simply return return p0 dot too long why because uh, input is integer and i want to return the long value now how many times you want to iterate this base adapter so here you can simply return my list song dot size it means uh, up to the number of list of the uh, songs i want to iterate this base adapter now it's time to define the view over here here in view you can create or on your own view variable my view is equal to now you can simply call layout inflator dot inflate now my view is my layout see here in my layout you can just check there are text view one text view two and one button is there this is the button right so i am just passing layout inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot that is my layout do you want to attach it with the root no so i'm just passing the null value over here and simply you can return your view so your view is created but i want to extract the data of this view it means i want to extract the position of each song and then i want to play the music so i'm just doing what see variable song is equal to you can just call my list song of position and position is your variable p0 so here you can just declare the variable that is position and then you can get the each position suppose if uh, it will return you the first song now i want to retrieve the each songs title author and url so what i am doing here you can simply write my view dot text view one that is your text view one related to title text view one dot text equal you can simply add song dot this is the variable that we created over here see song dot and you can set the title same you can do over here my view dot text view number two now dot text is equal to song dot you can get the author now we want to play the music so what i am doing over here my view dot whenever user click on this button dot set on click listener whenever user click on this button i'm just checking what is the text of that button by default the text is play i'm just doing what see if my view dot button dot text equal equal suppose if it is a stop then i just want to stop the media player so i'm just calling media player dot stop and you can set the uh, title of your my view dot button dot text is equal to you can just set the text that is play if it is a stop then uh, whenever uh, you click on stop then text should be play right uh, here you can use the bang bang operator over here to stop your my view uh, button media player now else if if uh, my button having the text that is play then what you want to do if the button text is play then definitely i want to uh, play the media player so i'm simply writing here mp is equal to media player instance you can just pass it to try catch 
e colon exception over here now you can call mp dot set data source is the function and here you can just pass song dot your url song url so your song url will be passed to your mp object and then you can just uh, prepare for the same and then you can just simply start playing the media player file and whenever the start media player file is started it means whenever media uh, is being played i want to just change my button text so I, what i am doing here my view dot button dot text is equal to here you can set the text that is if um, it is then uh, make it stop why because uh, media is being played and whenever media is being played then button dot text should be stop if uh, if it is a stop then button dot text should be play right now once your button code is done over here you can return the my view also but what if uh, what to do in load song function in load song function what i want to write i want to bind the adapter i want to read all these things i want to read the data from external storage so here in load song functions i need a url to read all this data so what i am doing over here i am just writing here one variable that is uri is equal to you can just call media player dot audio sorry media store dot audio dot you can add the media dot external content uri for external storage and if you want to read from the internal storage just make it here internal uri so your internal mp3 file will be loaded now here you can just set the variable what kind of files you want to read because what happened here in sd card not only mp3 file all the files are available so here you can just uh, uh, select the data so you can just write the uh, you can say that uh, uh, what kind of data you want to select you can write the where condition over here so what I am writing here variable selection is equal to now you can write here media store dot audio dot media dot is music is the variable if this value not equal to zero it means is music should be true if it is music then and then read the data now I am reading the data using RS result set. RS is equal to you can simply call content resolver dot query function. We need to pass here URI. So I am just passing the URI. Do you want to see, uh, write any projection column over here? If it is no, then you can just pass null. Do you want to add selection? Yes. I want to select only musical data. Do you want to pass any selection argument? No. Do you want to sort any data? No. Now once your rs variable is initialized you can simply write the condition over here if rs not equal to null it means if result set is not null it means if the data is available in external storage then and then move ahead now you can just call your function that is while you can call the while loop while rs dot move to next it means uh, if move to next of the record is possible then move to the next record now i want to retrieve the url of every string so what i am doing here variable url is equal to rs dot you can just call get string here you can just pass rs dot get column index here in column index you can just pass media store dot audio dot media dot data it means your url and once your url is initialized over here now you can retrieve the author name also variable author is equal to same you can do rs dot get string rs dot get column index media store dot audio dot media dot now you can retrieve the artist 
it means uh, which artist is um, singing for the song now here you can retrieve the variable title also title is equal to rs dot get string here you can just pass rs dot get column index media store dot audio dot media dot display name it means it's a title uh, which media play uh, media file is being played now once you are all this data that is related to url author and title is ready now you can just simply pass to our song info song info constructor having the three value title author and url and that we, we can add to our list song variable list song is of type song info so very simple now we are near to completion of our application here we can simply add what see here you can uh, write list song is our variable dot add now here we can call the instance of song info here in song info you can simply pass the first argument is title second argument is author and third argument is url so for every data this loop will be occur until and unless all the result set is being found if all the result being uh, result set is being found now we will simply close our result set data once our result set data is done now we can adapt it with our adapter class so what i am doing here see adapter is the class uh, variable that we already declared earlier you can simply call my song adapter and here you can just pass your list song so what happen all the list song will be passed to your adapter and that we will bind with bind it with our list view so simply you can call list view dot adapter is equal to adapter now you can test your application let me execute this application you need to take care about what we are reading the data from external sd card so your external sd card must have the mp3 file musical file to play media right so uh, in this my emulator i uploaded all the files in mnt sd card folder here you can just right click on sd card and you can upload the media file i already uploaded all the media files over here if you are playing from uh, your actual mobile then uh, your actual mobile must have the sd card else you can use the internal sd card see what happen this my media player file uh, my application is asking me for the permission if you are giving the allow or to read the external SD card what it will doing see it is lo loading all the files over here but what happened I want over here Amar Akbar Anthony this is Sirdi Wale Sai Baba you can just play see Now what happened? Whenever you uh, you can scroll your all the files over here, you can click on any media player file. I'm just clicking on the media player file that is Ajna Divse Prabhu. You can just check. You can stop that particular file. You can open another file also. For example, see here, Pankhida Nea Pinjuru. Now what happened uh, uh, here the content is not fit to our layout so here you can increase the size of your layout I'm just increasing the height that is 80 dp over here in this linear layout and then you can set the left margin also here in text view one I'm just setting the margin left that is a uh, 10 dp and same you can add to text view 2 that is margin left now you can test again your application and you can just check what happens see now it looks fine see you can click on dundala they also see right. you can stop this you can play another media also
you can check another media files also there are so many media files are available see the heat and application to load the external media file into your emulator or actual device that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all